Greetings, Chris Blake, cleaning out my garage. Nice, nice. Well, it's not, it's filthy, but it's cleaned out because all my shit is out here. Pardon my language. All right, so this video is to document Dan Orobano. Dan Orobano, you ask? Hey, stop asking nosy questions. Dan, owner of Taylor Motorbikes, is a master. Hey, lizard. <laughs> it's not a squirrel. Anyway, uh, he's a master uh, at building and creating and doing anything you need him to do. So I want to document some things. The uh, trailer my son and I did together. Uh, it's an old trailer, but we made it look from the 30s, and uh, you're welcome. Uh, I've made a previous video of this already, so I'll get into it. I have added a horn, some perspiration to the speedometer, and a beautiful mirror. Yeah, that thing's great. So here's my vantage point from riding it, what you'd see. That thing's badass. And you got this. <laughs> Just offensive. Okay, moving on. You haven't seen this yet? Uh, well, it's it hasn't I haven't started it. Look at all the dog splatter over it and crap. Try to wash it off, didn't work. Anyway, uh, so this is just a Vespa with a sidecar, 65 BBB 150, pretty common. This is a Project Odan. Um, I don't even know, I kind of forget. It was a Yamaha 76 Yamaha, ah, Yamaha, Ma. I don't know what else about it. Yamaha 400, uh, it's, I think it has like 21 horsepower, 22. Uh, basically, I ordered this from Aerotech Fairings. Bam. Uh, it's for an NSU 500 Sport Max, I believe. And uh, I then labeled it BMW and put it on a Yamaha. And then Dan went crazy. He's not responsible for this. I did this myself. It's kind of tweaked, but it's, yeah, that's the only error. Uh, that's right there is bondage cracking. Anyways, Dan took the tank, stretched it. And, added a, I think an inch and a half to it uh built in a bmw speedometer which only has 1.7 miles because i haven't driven this thing that much excuse me ridden got a i think this is called this a monza i don't know it it looked correct and then dan made this swiveling light which is actuated by a uh thrust control modulator bp 105-11 uh or something and it basically it has a thing in here and it goes like that and blah blah that's a that is not the ignition that is a start button uh, that is a key that uh actuates the start button these are switches for things i for, it's been so long i forget what those are for but they're switches uh yeah that's pretty much it it's a 400 two stroke um i made this custom oh, i took it out i put a piece of wood in there what the hell oh i haven't put the baffling in but anyways basically I made it into a BMW 57 dustbin racer, but I don't even know what you'd call that. Uh, or call it, it's just, it's a desecration added up to be badass. Uh, the only thing we did wrong, and I asked Dan for everything the way it is. Uh, I did the, the solo seat thing. That's my concoction, but Dan did the tank and it's all metal, no Bondo and crap. And then um, he made this inside shroud thing so this thing drops down and gets all streamlined when it sits it's pretty badass and then uh obviously made the all the supports for the fairing and it's loose right now i just have it sat on there but this thing's locked in there like a rock and uh change the expansion we have a problem in here this is i don't think it's getting enough uh back pressure because i put a piece of wood in here a while back and solved the problem but then i rejetted it and it's running funky and i just gave up and started crying you can see it's been a while since registered. This is a Moto Guzzi 1957 Ladola from Italy. And Dan redid all this up here and made a little thingy bobby old school with a switch. I don't know what that means. Oh, that's for the headlight. Uh, and then made this super good cage. It's not in there either. This is all my doing as far as how it's mounted. Um, we put a light in here with a little uh, thingy bobby for what you might call it so the light can go through. And uh, yeah. Um, everything else, 1957 Lodola, uh, and that thing flies, that probably goes over 40 miles an hour. This is a 27 Toro LC Confort, uh, it's all stock. I re that's my first restoration I did, 
I don't remember when I did it, but it was a long time ago. Uh, this is Dan's whole thing. Dan fabricated this entire thing badass. I came up with the design I wanted. I wanted the Ivor Johnson tank from 1915, but we stretched it and uh, I added a bunch of accessories to it. Dan made everything for it. Dan put a disc brake on this thing. It didn't get the results I had hoped for and he hoped for, but we didn't know. Anyways, I bypassed the brake and now it's got front and rear drum brakes. It's got a delicious dark chocolate, which is Hershey's best. Seat, uh, messenger, period correct. This, I don't know what that came from, probably a Ford or something's American, but badass light. Use that for a tail light. I made a uh, fake plate. Um, actually, Dan did. I made one and didn't have good results, so I gave it to Dan and I think he made that. He did. It's, it's pretty simple, but it's great and then this thing here which i think it's a lighter for something from the war civil war uh, but if you go into that holy crap are you kidding me who does that but who does that and puts a phillips head what an idiot so i'll probably just put a piece of uh braze there but i forgot about that whoops anyway yeah it's a, just it's a concoction of everything new the motor i think it's a Two, is it a 200 or 250? I forget. I think it puts out like 16 horsepower and it's got five speed, moves like a dream, drives like a, rides like a Cadillac. And uh, yeah, I got a light. I don't know what this came from. And then Dan made these badass stainless mounts. Look at those suckers. It's bad. And uh, anyways, yeah, this is an old bike. Look, it still says Taylor on it. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, Taylor. Uh, but Blake Brothers, I just put the things on there. This came off a of Rolls Royce. It's an oil pressure pump. Um, you got a pump in the back with no tips. So that won't do any good. The chain is off. Oh, I don't have my adjuster on there, so that fell off. Got a Speedo from a bicycle. Uh, I don't know if that's pre-war. Yeah, it looks pre-war. And then Dan made this machine gun style little thing and little accessory. What is that? Are you kidding me? Is that a B? Dang, it's a Blake Brothers bike. So got all this shit up here doesn't do anything just plugs got a choke right here uh that's the uh where's my oh, that's a choke and then you've got yourself a uh dole i haven't polished that for a while but shifter there's a the clutch pull it in shift the gear you're good it's got uh, period correct pedals all kinds of bull crap of course a <laughs> alarm and uh yeah that's pretty much it so uh you don't need to see that. There's my building over there. Uh, I've got some crap I don't really have here right now. Like my bus in the video. There's Carl in the back of the truck still, sticking back. There's my 1918 kind of cycle car that Dan and I did together. We did that whole thing uh, over 2017-18, I think. And uh, that thing came out great. There's a video for that. I'm really proud of it. I think I already videoed this crap. The Salisbury, 1947 Salisbury from Los Angeles, California, right here in my backyard. And uh, I just added, did I already do this? I forget. I think I did. But the headlights, low beam, and there's low beam. Uh, yeah, I, I know I did that on purpose. Right. <laughs> Another horn, it's a vibrant from France, got a helmet. Yeah, I think I already did this. And then there's a trailer my son and I did, which is, I think it was a 1952, I believe, or 54, I think it was 52, uh, when I got it and then put in some 200 year old wood and put that plate on there and we're good. So that is it. Uh, bus should be back. Oh, I didn't even mention this. There's my, I bought that S10. I drove it home from the beach 35 miles from here and it's, I can't believe I bought it for a thousand bucks with title and it runs great V6, everything's great. We're gonna rebody it to the 1940 Plymouth PT50. All right, goodbye.